NASA is working around the clock to meet an end of July deadline on explaining the unexplainable, so called unidentified anomalous phenomena. Basically, NASA says it's going to try to use science to figure out if ET is buzzing Earth. But as Brian Hackney shows us, hidden away in California is another scientific effort that could make a similar discovery of the century at any moment. Floating black dots, triangles, balloons. An additional 366 sightings have been investigated since 2021. Definitely smaller than a car. This all implies that they have come looking for us. In fact, we've been looking for them about four and a half hours north of the San Francisco Bay Area. As for what this is. Welcome to the Hat Creek Radio Observatory. That's Dr. Wael Farah. These are the RF conversion boards. These machines process the tiniest of signals detected by these dishes. The data gets processed on all of these machines. That might answer one of the biggest questions of all time. I notice on your t-shirt there's a big question. Yep. What is the big question? Are we alone? Are we really truly alone in this in this universe or not? I say the answer is is no. There ought to be something out there. Uh, it's just that we only have to find it. They're already fairly alone in Hat Creek, 250 miles northeast of the Bay Area, 18 miles south of Bernie Falls, where an array of radio telescopes sample micro signals from the stars. There are 42 telescopes as part of the Allen Telescope Array. They collect something on the order of 120 gigabytes a second. This is equivalent to 30 or 40 HD movies every single second. The search, SETI, is headquartered back in Mountain View. I mean, this could be wishful thinking, who knows, but I, I do think that within you know 10 or 20 years, we will find a signal simply based on the equipment that's being used. That equipment quality got a big boost from a $100 million grant from a Russian billionaire. It's time to commit to finding the answer to search for life beyond Earth. And now? The equipment we're using today is millions, billions of times better, whatever that means. It means that you're covering a lot of the radio dial at once, so that increases your chances of finding something. We always keep on getting closer, and our technology keeps getting better and better. But how do you tune in to the galaxy? We are listening for radio signals, and our experiment's really simple. We take these 42 antennas, we point them all at some nearby star system, and we listen at multiple frequencies to see if we pick up any sort of signal. Good evening. What are the odds that there is intelligent life out here? Well... The number of stars in our galaxy Large. The Milky Way galaxy has several hundred billion star systems. We know that there is, on average, a planet for every star. If that isn't enough to guarantee at least a couple of intelligent societies, I mean, if I bought a couple of hundred billion lotto tickets, I'd have a few winners in there, right? If it's not true, if humans really are the smartest things in the Milky Way galaxy, then we're some sort of miracle. And it's hard to believe that we're a miracle. In the meantime, silent scopes aim, monitor, and... No success yet. No success yet, but it's, it's a no-brainer. There, there ought to be something out there. One of these nights, it's going to happen. It's just that we are, we're not there yet. So even if Hat Creek picked up an intelligent signal from another star system tonight, it would have to be vetted by astronomers around the world. And as the doctor put it, they don't want to be pranked by, say, a graduate student at Stanford. Legitimate concern.